Jack to me as something that is sadistically brutal and inhumane within the individual realm of the human mind, which is to me, from a state level of perspective, actually very egotistical and stupid. You know, it was the Roman propaganda against the ideal archetype of a modern nation. And not just this instance. I mean, powerful and influential women throughout history have been mostly spat on. And not because of retarded sexist reasons, as modern feminists would define it. I mean, was it just women who were spat on? Tell me one well-known emperor or ruler who doesn't have dirt on his CV. But anyway, that's not the question. The question is about rulers in general, and more specifically, female rulers, who have been whipped by society for committing crimes like physically removing enemies to the regime, and that includes members of their own family. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's psychopathic and blah blah blah. You know what? I don't agree. In fact, I think it's just the opposite. Speaking specifically about Livia Drusilla, the lifelong wife and advisor to the Emperor Augustus, all the perspectives I got on her, you know, first the Dark Ones, Tacitus and Suetonius, though I'm not sure if Suetonius did really spit on her. Anyway, uh, Robert Graves, of course, and then the other end of the stick, Mary Beard, for example. Oh, this is ancient misogyny, she was a loving mother and blah blah blah. Like, I got so many ankles, most of them black, some of them white, but because of irrational arguments. Whatever the case, I fell in love with the image of Livia, and not necessarily the real one, because there is no way for us to really know what she was like. But the image of Livia, as presented in sources and fiction, the image of Livia that we have nowadays, it's supposed to make me hate her. But it just doesn't, I simply love her. And come to think of it, she was one of the pivotal reasons I fell in love with ancient Rome in the first place. Because when I read I Claudius for the first time, I did not really know that much about ancient Rome and the classical world. I went into the deep waters with almost no expectations or bias. So, ideally, as the uneducated reader in the field, I would have been expected to perceive Livia as the author intended me to, meaning as a fucking demon. And I did not. I fell in love with her and with Rome as a consequence. And it was precisely because of the despicable things that she did. She's supposed to have exterminated Augustus's entire line of successors, so that her own biological son could inherit the throne. She poisoned and strangled a bunch of kids and adults, had them cut to pieces in the Palatine dungeons, or arranged convenient boating accidents for them. In her lifetime, the real Livia was honored with the title of Augusta, a mother of all the people. And in the books and propaganda, she's seen as the exact opposite of a mother of any kind of being. She's a killer, lacking compassion, filled with hatred and darkness and selfish ambition. One could ask himself, how the fuck did this monumental contradiction came to be? Was her maternal recognition just some kind of a bureaucracy whim, while in reality even her contemporaries really hated her? Was it because other powerful people were jealous of her influence? Was it because of retarded sexism, or was it because of all of these combined? The thing is, I don't really give a shit, because I don't agree on the atrocities part. Even if she did dispose of all of these people, even if she did place her son on the throne, I bow to her for what she did. The people she disposed of were all, you know, supposedly inexperienced, or black sheep, or of a political affiliation that would have been catastrophic to take to the throne at that point, it's not like she killed people who stood in her son's way. She killed all of them, and I repeat, if she did at all, but she killed them because in comparison to her son, they were all idiots and just not suitable. Her son had been old and battered and an experienced general. He just happened to be her son. And I'm not necessarily saying that she didn't take pride or joy in the idea, because after all, I mean, she was human. She must have done it at least to some extent. But that wasn't the main point. She was striving for experience and security. And in the name of that security, she was willing to kill even young people, even members of her own family. She was able to do it 
no matter how despicable it was, because nothing is despicable if it's done in the name of the greater good, and in the name of such a monumental empire. I mean, this isn't Family Feud or the UK royal family. She and her husband were practically in control of the entire Mediterranean civilization. And you think if all of that depended on me, I wouldn't kill a bunch of kids in order to ensure proper succession to come after me and to ensure that all of my life's work is not going to go to the wind? Of course I would kill a bunch of kids. I would blow up 10 children's hospitals if it meant the salvation of the world as I know it. Not to mention the world as I rule it. It's just statistics and odds for the better good. And personal feelings have no place for that if you're going to govern society. And by the way, you can never experience the sacrifice, the true pain that it means to do that. I mean, in the books, Livia is portrayed as a killer and a cold-blooded one, which I'm glad that the show I, Claudius, did not do. I actually love the show Livia more than the one in the novel because you can see her tragedy there. You can see she's suffering for what she's doing. You can see her tears as she kills Augustus, telling him, all that I did, I did it for you and for Rome. It was for Augustus that she killed all those people, to secure the prosperity of his rule and his golden age, to secure his historical legacy, and then it was for Rome that she finally killed him as he was going senile. I fell in love with that image. Not because she was a psychopath, and I have some internal hate that I need to express through extreme love for some fictional villain, I fell in love with her image precisely because she did what she did and she suffered greatly for it. Like the mythical image of Elizabeth I in England, she sacrificed all that was human about her. She gave it away, no matter how painful. She destroyed lives she probably even cherished because she was a mother, but not a mother of children, not a mother of persons, but a mother of a freaking nation. And in many ways, it echoes to the image of Jesus how God sacrifices his own child to save humanity. I mean, how, how sick is that at first glance? Kill the human to save the humans. I think Livia is the female version of that and a more realistic one, or at least the image that's left of the real woman. She is in many ways for me, the Roman Empire herself personified, a true symbol of a singular civilization that sacrificed a lot to leave behind its immortal trail on our planet.